trial making news tonight. Disgraced tech entrepreneur Elizabeth Holmes, founder of Theranos, gave emotional and highly personal testimony on the stand today. We cannot bring cameras into the courtroom, but we have the next best thing. Our Rebecca Jarvis, host of the Dropout Podcast. She joins us now with all the details. Thank you so much for that, Rebecca. Holmes told a crowded courtroom today that she was raped while at Stanford University. What details did she share and, and what was the relevance to the case? Well, Lindsay, this was explosive testimony and no testimony leading up until today. And we've been now seeing this trial for months unfold. No testimony even hinted at this news. But Elizabeth Holmes on the stand said that she was raped at Stanford and that it was the reason that she poured herself into building the company Theranos. And she told her attorney, uh, Downey, that this is the reason, this was a very big reason that she went on to start her company, Theranos, Lindsay. Perhaps an attempt to humanize her there on the stand. And then there were those explosive claims about Sunny Balwani, the former Theranos executive, and her ex-boyfriend. Tell us more about that. Well, first of all, he categorically has denied those claims, and we had a sense that they might be coming here at this trial. If you'll remember, just days before the trial began, there were these abuse claims filed by the defense suggesting that Elizabeth Holmes faced years of abuse by Sonny Belwani, everything from what she ate to how she dressed to how she spoke, and she detailed these claims, including personal notes that she wrote to herself at the time, personal text exchanges. You know, we've seen in this trial exchanges between between Sonny Belwani and Elizabeth Holmes at this trial already about business affairs. We have not seen any of the personal exchanges that came out of court just moments ago, Lindsay. And certainly some powerful words from Holmes there. And for some context, how does Belwani fit into this fraud case? So if you think about this story, Elizabeth Holmes is the founder and Sonny Belwani for many years was her boyfriend as well as the COO of her company. She brought him into the company a few years after it was begun. The two of them met when she was 18 years old and he was in his 30s while studying in China together. They got to know each other and she told this story to the courtroom. It's something that her attorneys telegraphed to the courtroom earlier that the two of them met while studying together. The jurors have now seen pictures of the two of them together. Elizabeth looking very young in a Stanford sweatshirt, standing next to Sonny Belwani, looking significantly older in his suit. And this is something that with 20 years and many decades in prison on the line, her defense attorneys, according to all of the legal experts I've spoken to, are really doing everything in their power to humanize her and show the jury who this woman is. I will say, Lindsay, a very key factor here are the actual claims and counts against Elizabeth Elizabeth Holmes, that she defrauded investors, that she defrauded patients. And her attorney asked her point blank today, did Sonny Belwani make you make these statements to investors, make you make statements to Walgreens? She answered unequivocally no on all of those fronts, but also said she's just beginning to determine the influence that Sonny Belwani really had over her life, Lindsay. Really an interesting dynamic there. And lastly, Rebecca, you've been following Elizabeth Holmes for years at this point. Were you surprised by this emotional testimony over such deep personal matters? Well, Lindsay, we've never seen this woman break a sweat, really, in public. And today on the stand, she fought back tears. Uh, we've seen her as the most put together individual, planning, it seems, preparing for everything that happens. This was a very, very different side of Elizabeth Holmes that the jurors saw today that we, up until this point, as the public, have never seen in covering her story. Rebecca Jarvis, our thanks to you as always. And to stay on top of this trial, be sure to check out season two of The Dropout wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.